Vaughn, and today we'll be looking at five intriguing pitching prospects that people should keep their eyes on in 2021 and beyond. You guys really seem to like the one where I talked about position players, so here's one for pitchers. Prospects who are pitchers are in their own category, really, and that their path to the majors is incredibly different from positional players' path to the majors. Often, a position player's minor league journey is about adjusting to better and better pitching, while pitchers about refining the pitches that he has. That is why almost all pitchers taken in the early rounds of the draft are from college because their pitch repertoires are already set and refined so they're easier to project. Before we get started, could you please like and subscribe? Currently, 97% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. If only a few of you guys subbed, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, let's get on to these pitchers who have so much potential. Coming in at number 5 is Nationals number 2 prospect Jackson Rutledge. While the Nationals prospect system is one of the worst in the league, Jackson Rutledge and fellow pitcher Cade Savelli are one of the few bright spots. After posting video game numbers with a .86 ERA in college, which led him to being drafted 17th overall in 2019, he impressed with a 3.13 ERA in 37 innings in the lower levels of the minors. Jackson has an electric fastball which can reach the higher levels of the 90s with a lot of spin and seems to have decent control of his fastball. However, in order to become a decent starter in the majors and anything more than a major league reliever, he needs to improve his control and break on his slider, curveball, and change which are all currently below average. He has been exposed so far in AA due to his lack of a good secondary pitch however, with a 12 ERA in 6 innings. At number 4 is Marlins prospect Edward Cabrera. And while fellow Marlins Sixto Sanchez is more widely known, Marlins executives believe that Cabrera has a higher ceiling overall. Cabrera is a big guy at 6 foot 5 and uses his length to his advantage with a fastball that usually sits in the 93 to 97 range but can hit triple digits on occasion. On top of that, he has a nasty slider which sits in the 82 to 85 range, which gives him a good speed gap between the two and keeps batters honest. While he needs to work on his control, he can often get away with it with an elite ground ball rate which is uncommon for a fireballer like him. He has done nothing but produce great numbers in the minors while having a 2.23 year in 2019 with elite strikeout numbers. However, he is slower than usual at 23 years old and in still in high A, but that is a minor issue especially for pitchers who usually take longer to reach the majors than positional players. Coming in at number 3 is highly rated Mariners prospect George Kirby. Besides having a cool name, Kirby has an electric fastball which can reach 98 miles per hour and a, cur and a decent curveball. While still in the minors, he's developing a slider which is coming along slowly. However, while his stuff isn't the best, it's his command that makes him so highly rated. His elite command has led to only 3 walks in 39 innings, which is great for a young pitching prospect and should correlate to the majors very well and also prevent big innings. As per usual, a good walk rate means that George Kirby has a great minor league career ERA of 2.31 across short season ball in high A. Like Cabrera, he is 23 years old and in high A, but that shouldn't be a problem and should come and he should come to the majors either this year or next year. Him and fellow Mariners prospect Logan Gilbert should be the, at the top of the Mariners rotation for the next decade to come. At number two is Royals 2020 first round pick and the number four pick overall in Asa Lacy. And while he doesn't have the most electric stuff, he pro arguably has four pitches which are all above average and correlate well to making the majors. Unlike many of his pitching counterparts, he has a fastball, curveball, slider, and changeup, which are all already highly developed and all brought him success throughout college and led him to being drafted where he was. His fastball sits in the 92 to 97 range, which he throws from a weird angle, angle of his seven, six foot four frame, and his slider, curveball, and changeup are all in the mid to upper 80s. With all of this coming from the left-hand side, the, this pitch repertoire should correlate to a lot of strikeouts. However, the Royals are hoping to improve his command while in the minors of all of his pitches and truly make him into a pitcher destined for the Hall of Fame. 
Lastly, at number one, we have Orioles top pitching prospect and the number two overall prospect in the Orioles to stem behind Adley Rutschman and right-hander, right-handed pitcher Grayson Rodriguez. While scouts were astounded by the Orioles drafting him at 11, he has silenced all doubters now by posting a career minor league ERA of 2.21 and also pitching an inning in the Futures game in 2019. He has an electric sinker which has reached 99 miles per hour with a deep sink and has developed a deadly one-two punch with his changeup that led to elite strikeout rates of 203 Ks in only 143 innings pitched. Everywhere he has gone, he's posting elite numbers from short season to double A ball, and, it sh and he should make the majors within the next year. If he can develop his curveball and slider, which are already above average, to the likes of his changeup and sinker, the Orioles will have one of the best pitchers in the game. Period. Thank you guys for watching, and if you remember, please like, share, and subscribe, and hey, maybe you think there's a picture that should be on this list. Let me know in the comments below.